Welcome. We are here today for Legacy of Leaders. I'm Dan Edelman, the host. I'm here with Jean Augsburger. The Strategic Relationship and Council is her new business. Jean previously was the Executive Director of the Civic Council and has been involved in many, many things in the community, nonprofit-wise, for many years. Jean, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing today and just you know what you're involved in. Thank you, Dan, um, and, uh, and thank you for hosting this and uh, Heritage Capital. Um, you know, I've had a great, uh, incredible career, and, and I've built a company, two companies actually, around the ideas of bringing, um, helping bring strategy, uh, leveraging relationships, and also legal counsel to businesses to maximize not only their profit, but their impact in the community. Um, because, you know, we, we, we work in this community, we live in this community, and I have seen the difference that businesses can make um, on on our nonprofit sector, but really the nonprofit sector is is making an impact on individuals and changing lives. So, um, so that's the kind of the dual role and goal of of the business. And, Jean, what nonprofits are you involved in, either directly or even with some of your clients today, to help change and make Jacksonville a better community? Well, the most most recently, I've uh, been very involved with with Goodwill Industries of North Florida, and and most people don't realize Goodwill Industries. When you donate something, it turns into a job or job training, and most people don't realize that they see it as a storefront. But Goodwill operates businesses so that they can retrain individuals and bring them back into the workforce. And these are individuals who maybe had no training. Um, we see um, parents of kids who are getting college degrees and the parents want to go back to school. Um, and we see um, former you know, convicted individuals who are getting back into community and need that first job and need the first and, and training for that. So, and, and Goodwill is the largest employer of disabled individuals in the community. So when you think about the, 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 the intersection of work and work training, workforce training, preparation, and then a nonprofit, Goodwill fits that. And, and so that's been a quite rewarding. Um, so too in the past with um, the YMCA, um, with FSCJ, another workhorse in the workforce development area. And so a lot, much of my, um, many of my clients are looking to help and develop their workforce. Right? So connecting clients with, um, with, the work, with their workforce needs is, is very rewarding, uh, but also connecting them with other resources right? where, they can, um, where they have an opportunity to have a greater impact with their, um, with their businesses. You've been giving back to the community for a long, long time. What you know, initially got you interested in, mm. in giving back, and, and how has that you know, nourished you. Yeah, thank you. I, you know, I was um, fortunate. My father was a Navy pilot. My mom was a school teacher for 36 years, public school teacher. And, um, and I had the opportunity to live overseas in Panama. Mm. And it was at a time of um, a great transition in that community where we saw a, a government that was taken over by a dictator. And, and that formed a lot of my um, early thoughts about what, what our country can do and, and the, um, the strength of our own constitution. Our country is not perfect, but it is, it is as close to perfect as we can get yeah. and we keep trying, right? And I, have a, I, have a, I, I was fortunate to be awarded a, a Truman Scholarship in college and that provided for, Truman left a legacy of wanting to provide public service um, to train people to go into public service and offset their educational costs. So that helped me pay for undergraduate, but also graduate school, and I chose to go into law school. And, and with that degree and knowing how to help individuals, giving a voice to individuals, giving a voice to businesses, giving a voice to nonprofits who don't know how to advocate or get their message out, that to me has been some of the most rewarding work that I've done. Mm. And, and even with the Jacksonville Civic Council, being able to give voice to some really serious policy issues, and then not just voice, but an opportunity to implement change. So those are some of the most rewarding times, sometimes some of the very hard, hard right. times, right? Uh, very hard to do sometimes, but, but also at the end of the day, um, helping a business see where their opportunities are 
uh, as you know, with Heritage Capital and, and, uh, and, and seeing how businesses can not just grow, but flourish and then, and then contribute to, to our larger business community. Just briefly, you know, this is legacy of leaders. And if, what would you say to somebody who's an emerging leader? Gosh. What do they need to yeah. be focused on? You know, I, we have so many great training programs in the community, and I think the more they can get involved, um, read the paper, um, get engaged, you know, find out what's going on with city government, find and identify some, whether it's through Leadership Jacksonville or through the Nonprofit Center or any of those, th there are volunteer opportunities everywhere. So start by volunteering and getting involved with a cause that matters to them. Um, if it's a, um, you know, whether it's, it's goodwill, calling up these places to, to begin to volunteer and really understand maybe some of the issues in the community, um, that those are, those are the first steps uh, to, to getting engaged. And, and I, you know, I read a lot, so reading a lot of local local um, local press but also reading what other leaders that they who they like you know looking at what they're doing talk to them reach out to them find a mentor um, and it, even if it's just to ask them to lunch I think those are where I've learned a lot from from other people well thank you thank you for joining us today Jean thank you for sharing with us and for some good advice and for everything you've given back to the community we appreciate it thank you Dan